Hello, good morning. Good morning, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for your positive response. Uh, thanks for your uh, negative response as well. If there is any positive or negative, please feel free to share me. It gives me immense pleasure to answer all my all your doubts, and it also it gives me an opportunity to develop myself. Okay, this videos I'm taking for you guys to share the best possible educations based on aviation. It gives you the total knowledge on this. This information I'm getting from lots of resources like um, websites aviation books rest through some reference references and through some contents uh, personal contents of me so uh, this kind of things will give you the best possible education for you to learn so today's topic uh, and also i've got uh, some of the comments uh, feedback from you to so change the background which i have done it i changed my background for you guys and also i changed my background music you don't want to hear the music so technically which can be disturbing to you guys and also i change it for you guys so this gives me uh, an opportunity to provide the best possible education. Please subscribe my channel. Don't forget to like my channel, share it with your friends, relatives, to all the people you know, <coughs> and they are going to learn something from my videos. Thank you so much for this. Okay, let's talk about security personnel, which is what topic I have already discussed uh, in the previous slides. About uh, six, seven slides I've already covered on this. This is my seventh one probably. So I'll be discussing more on the aviation security aspect as well. And so we'll discuss more on the list of the items which can be carried uh, in airport in an in, in aircraft. The some of the lift items item which is prohibited. Let's talk about it. Okay, <laughs> list of the items un unacceptable. You cannot carry at all by any means. Firearms like guns. You are not supposed to carry any kind of knives. No, you are not going to carry knives as well. Scissors. Yes, you are not going to carry scissors with blades more than 6 centimeters. Like if it is more than 6 centimeters, you are not supposed to carry blades that are shorter than 6 centimeters are always uh, acceptable. If it is so much small, less than 6 centimeters, yes, you can acceptable. But some airlines also have some restrictions. Okay, ammunitions like ammunition all ammunition must be unloaded from the gun and it's not allowed to be fired so fry, what do you mean by ammunition ammunition is like a big pistol and where the blood is there it has to be detached it should not be unloaded into an uh, ammunition so it should be removed from that hammers yes you're not going to carry out crowbars and crowbars also you're not going to carry in an, air, uh, in an aircraft so there are some items which can okay lifetime prohibited items so you in complete life so you're not going to carry out all these things okay in cabin or checking no passenger is allowed to carry for information fireworks yes you're not going to carry the fireworks uh, yeah and also fire extinguishers yeah no not allowed in the air aircraft because why we are not allowing these items because when the aircraft flies which when the aircraft airborne into the sky it creates some sort of pressure because of the air through the pressure it can exploit it can exploit the aircraft and we have seen the similarly so a lot of incidents in the year 1976 1988 and so many incidents have happened in the past so the IATA have come up with these rules and regulations we all sh we should be always in line with the IATA archive regulations we should be compromising with them not to carry any kind of prohibited items which can come harm to the airline property the passengers and stay uh, and operators property etc the gunpowder yes you're not supposed to carry the gunpowder smoke fires yes no we are not going to carry this control drugs and contraband drugs some of the uh, drugs or uh, control drugs yeah some drugs which can be uh, you, you should not be carrying at any cost at all so which can be harmful once you when you fly Okay, vehicle airbox like airbags you have to see the cars which has the once the accident happened you have an airbox yeah airbag that can explode so airbags are also not allowed to carry because it creates pressure in this liquid bleach like bleaching a lot of women's like bleaching lipstick um, mascara eyeliner this thing they are going to stop you please be ladies be aware of these things do not carry such things uh, and they might stop you from taking it okay torch lighters yes torch lighters is not allowed aerosols but it might be more flammable hand grenades yes you should not be carrying any kind of items as i showed you a lot of examples i was okay let me show you one of my example one of my ex relative was trying to take uh, um, he was taking some kind of uh, crockeries which is made up of some kind of shop um, 
I did, which you generally use in kitchen nowadays. So he it cost him more than six hundred dollars. So he was trying to bring from New York to Bangalore. Uh, so direct flight from there, Air India. So he was being stopped in the airport because you're not supposed to carry any kind of property item which is can be objected. So unfortunately, that has to be offloaded from the from the aircraft. So. This is one other another example where my relative was trying to bring the crockery items uh, for the for the for their purpose in the kitchen. So they have been stopped not to carry these items as well. Okay, so please be careful on this. Go through the list which you are supposed to carry, and go through my website also if you have any doubts and all. Okay, prohibited items not allowed on board aircraft. So this will be studying on this. These are the prohibited items as you can see in the picture which is presented. Yeah, scissor is not allowed like any kind of flare, rocket or a um, explosive, a firearm, gun not allowed, knife not allowed, a spray not allowed, the battery not allowed, any kind of sharp object like a blade which you use it for razor blade which you use it for shaving purpose not allowed, an ace which is going to Cut for the trees, not allowed, and uh, bomb or detective items can be exploded, not allowed. Uh, any kind of tools which can be sharp and pointed, not allowed at all. And uh, uh, same kind of battery items, not allowed. Gas cylinders, explosives, these things are highly, highly prohibited, guys. So you're not supposed to carry. Be aware of the items which you are supposed to carry. So make sure do not put yourself in any kind of a trouble when you're carrying these things. Thing do do not to do in airport security. So, you, what are the things you should not do in the airport security? We'll be studying more on this. Uh, okay, so please uh, pilot separately at the security control. Only one bag is permitted per passenger. Some of the airports they have only one bag permitted in airport. All items, uh, all items, mutes fit comfortably in a bag. So it should be fit comfortably in a bag. All items can be. Can be carried in checked in baggage. So, some of the items not on it, some of the items you can carry. So, we need to study, you need to know the measurement of it, how much you have to carry, how much you cannot carry, cream maximum 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter spray foam, a deodorant. Yeah, so they have to be totally packed and concise. Liquid items, uh, paste, gels. Uh, the bags must be completely sealed. So if it is the, the thing do not carry these things and all 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 the containers with maximum capacity of 100 meter meter must be packed, transparent and re resealed. Some of some airports like uh, most major most of the major airports they don't allow. Some of the airports yes. You know, if you are carrying such items, you need to ensure that it is uh, within the limited uh, quantity like 100 millimeter or uh, 10 millimeter sometimes 50 millimeter like that so you need to ensure this is properly packed in the tra transparent shield and also it should be visible properly otherwise they are not going to let you go so so be careful of these things guys please so not to which uh, okay which can put you in any kind of trouble and all as you can see in the airport, uh, once you want the checking baggage happen there, the security personnel over here, he will check everything which is there in your bag, irrespective of the nationality which is there, irrespective of any kind of thing. All the security personnel are, are there to protect everything, whatever is coming, which can cause threat to the passengers. Yeah, they need to ensure that everything is like, and they're going to check each and every item the bag, the hand baggage. Um, the the pockets, the blazer, the jacket, uh, pockets. They need to ensure that everything is being removed properly and then done. Okay. Uh, this is what uh, I'm talking about. Okay, guys. So I'll be discussing more on the coming slide as well about the airport security. Please feel free to subscribe my channel. Let me know what topic you like to hear from me. Okay. Send it to me by private message on my mobile number nine nine four four nine zero nine two zero four. And WhatsApp number nine zero zero nine seven one triple five zero four nine one nine one. Manawara at Gmail or comment it. I'm giving going to give you the best possible education for you guys. And of course, uh, I always likes your comments, feedback. Please share it with your colleagues and feedback. Thank you and thanks for hearing me.